Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying the new Spider-Man Whopper. We're already at the drive-thru, so let me order this. Hi, could I do the new Spider-Man Whopper meal? What size, what to drink? Um, a medium and... Do you got, can I get a chocolate milk? We don't have chocolate milk. Oh, okay. Um, could I do an iced vanilla coffee with that okay and also an order of mozzarella sticks and marinara okay, uh the smaller size okay and that'll be it 1308 second window okay thank you oh, i forgot to ask for sauce again i definitely want sauce what should i dip my french fries in but yeah i had to get the shirt i got it on amazon it's actually pretty cute it's like a vintage shirt. It's like a good pajama shirt or something. I look like I watched Spider-Man, which I've never seen it. I don't have any interest to see it either. <laughs> I'm not a fan of movies like that. I had to get the Whopper though. Of course, I love Whoppers. But yeah, I'm not like a Marvel type of movie person. I don't know anything about any of those movies. I haven't seen a single one, <laughs> but okay the closest movie I've seen to like that type of stuff I saw Guardians of the Galaxy and I, I I didn't like it I mean it wasn't bad but I felt like the whole movie was just like action like it was just everyone fighting back and forth like like not even like a storyline I feel like it was just non-stop fighting it's kind of loud out there but yeah I don't know I saw this and I'm like, that's really cool. Cause last time I tried the green Whopper, it was like the Halloween one. It was not very green, but by the videos I've seen, this one is really red. So our McDonald's, I mean, Burger Kings didn't get it until Thursday, which was yesterday. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm editing this video and posting it today. So happy Friday. What's everyone's plans for the weekend? I am going to go home, edit this. Well, I have some returns. They're all next to me. I have to go to the post office and do a return, which I've never done a return like that. I've only ever done Amazon returns because I don't like buying things that I can't return like in a store. You know, I like hate boxing the stuff up and like putting the label on it. I don't even have a printer, so I had to get the label for my mom. And I just, it, it's like confusing. I don't know why, like mailing packages. Because like if you screw it up, you're not getting your money for the return. Or you're not getting the products. <laughs> like at that point, you know, you keep them. But I have skim stuff to return. I have two separate orders because I didn't know what sizes to get. And I got the bathing suits because I heard really good things about her bathing suits and they were so teeny. So then I had to, obviously, I should have definitely sized up. They were like such small triangles. <laughs> so I have skims returns. Then I'm also order returning a big Swiffer. It's in the back. I can't get it unbuilt. So I'm going to take it into Kohl's and it's like still built. So I'm gonna be like, I can't get this apart. It's like stuck. My mom tried to get it on a part and she couldn't figure it out. Like it's like stuck. She unscrewed it and everything and like it wouldn't come apart. Like the handle part snapped into the base, like the bottom half of the mop and it just won't come apart. So I'm just gonna return it as a full mop <laughs> and I have the box too it came in. So I'm just gonna have to like get a cart in the parking lot and <laughs> like go in there with it. Oh well trying to stay hydrated because last night I went to Kevin Hart with my friends it was very fun very fun and we went to dinner before and we had some drinks we had some tequila and then some drinks at the show too so I'm like drinking lots of water today what sauce should I get what do they even have I know they have like the zesty sauce I need to make sure they give me my marinara too maybe I'll just get like ranch Ooh, I haven't had a Whopper in so long. I'm excited. It's 1.30. This is my first meal today. I'm starving. I'm going to scarf it down. Really hungry. I was thinking about ordering McDonald's, like, DoorDash breakfast this morning. While I was in bed, I was like, oh, I really want McDonald's breakfast. But I'm like, no, I'm filming today. I'm not going to get McDonald's. I'm going to go eat a red burger instead. 
it's bread. That's like not an appetizing like color, but we have to try it. Hi. Okay. Can I also get ranch too, please? Yeah, absolutely. It's burger time. Wonder if they see my Spider-Man shirt. They probably don't care. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Oh gosh. <laughs> Bag secured. Let's see what this red whopper looks like. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Like really? This semi truck just drove right in front of me. Like what an idiot like people do not pay attention I cannot wait to see this okay we got marinara and two ranches yay some fries which I haven't had Burger King's fries in a while I'm excited to try no they're not bad mm, they're pretty good they're salty Mm. Here she is. And then I also wanted mozzarella sticks. I was craving chocolate milk. I am craving chocolate milk. But I guess I didn't have it. That's okay. I got an iced coffee. I've never had their iced coffee, so we'll try that together. Oh. It's definitely not the most appetizing color for a burger. Oh, yum. It's so saucy, though. How cool. It's super cool. Wow. Look at that. It is extremely red. Wow. Okay, guys. Let's give this a try. It looks like a pretty patty. Aw. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Yum. I've not had a Whopper in a long time. There is so much mayonnaise on here. And probably you just see it more too because it's on like the red bun. Mmm. Yum. So good. Mmm. Now let's try this iced coffee too. I'm like obsessing with Duncan right now. The iced pecan latte is so good. It like, oh my gosh. And Duncan is so cheap. Mm. Not bad. Kind of like chocolate milk. <laughs> oh yeah, they had a mocha one too. I could have got that. That would have been like chocolate milk. Kind of. <laughs> Holy cow, look at all those toppings. Mmm. Delicious. So yeah, Kevin Hart was super fun last night. The last time I was at that stadium where Kevin Hart was, was last August when I saw Dave Chappelle with my dad. So it made me like sad being there. Like thinking about that which the tattoo I have that says I love you from my dad is from my last birthday card I got and he got me a separate card my mom would usually write the birthday cards and like just sign their names but he got me a separate birthday card with the Dave Chappelle tickets in it um, so I'm glad I had like that handwriting saying that I definitely had more things with this handwriting but like for my last birthday and stuff like that so I love that tattoo I want to get another tattoo for him I'm not really sure what if anyone has any ideas because I'd like some more on my arm I love like the patchy sleeve tattoos it's like a bunch of little tattoos kind of in one not like all connected you know 
because I like them being smaller, but I really like tattoos. I want more. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. If you guys want to see the stuff I got from Skims, I could do it on my second channel. Do a little haul. I think I'm addicted to coffee. Do you guys remember when I used to not like coffee? And I slowly started liking it. It's kind of fun like seeing that on my channel because I used to not like spicy stuff. Now I love spicy stuff. And I used to hate coffee. Now I love it. <laughs> but I feel like oh, I'll get like a headache if I don't have it. And I don't get it every day. But like I want it every day. You guys, look at all that mayo. Mmm. But yeah, Dunkin', it's only like $3 for a small. Starbucks, it's like absolutely like absurd how expensive it is. Like one drink and like a small breakfast sandwich is gonna be like $15. <laughs> sure is messy. It's just cute. I don't even know what Spider-Man's about. <laughs> Couldn't tell ya. Except he goes like, choo, pew, pew. <laughs> I know that because my little cousin like was Spider-Man one year for Halloween and he had like the little, like he had some device that would actually like spit out like silly string. Like the web. Mm. I'm really excited because this company just messaged me like right before I went to the drive-thru and they said that they're a huge fan of me and they want to send me their espresso coffee machine so I'm like oh sure I would love that because I gave mine that I had my Nespresso to my brother because I was never using it and he loves that stuff he was thinking about buying one and I was like I'll just give you the one I have because I don't use it but it is nice to have one you know Cause I saw Starbucks was selling like their brown sugar syrup to make the brown sugar drink at home. But then I was like, oh, I don't have an espresso machine anymore. But I think I'm going to now. So over on my vlog channel, I'll, I'll start like a series where I try and make coffees at home. And So yeah, we'll start a series and try and make good coffee at home. Because it's hard. I like always hated it when I made it at home. And I would add like syrups and almond milk and sugar and like caramel everything and it would just never taste good. Burger King is busy. There's so many people. The line is so long. Wow. I wonder if everyone's getting the Spider-Man Whopper. Good thing it wasn't sold out then. I would have been so disappointed. It probably will at some point and then they won't get it back in. Mmm, I love this marinara sauce. But yeah, if you work at like Starbucks or Dunkin, you guys gotta like let me know what I need to make it taste perfect. Because if I could master making good coffee at home, that would be so nice. It's just hard. Especially when you love Starbucks. Mmm. <laughs> they have pretty good ranch too. It's like 
it almost tastes like mayonnaise like it's like a mayonnaise ranch like very creamy it like kind of looks like mayo too it's like very thick hmm let's see what the ingredients are egg yolks that just sounds nasty in ranch but that's what I guess is in it right yeah egg yolk is in like mayo and like all the sauces pretty much or mayo and ranch maybe I don't know it's like crazy how people even like come up with this stuff because what's in here it was a lot salt sugar soybean oil like what is soybean oil does that even have any flavor water egg yolks spices lemon juice lots of things I, I can't even pronounce xanath gam gum xanath gum I heard that stuff's unhealthy for you but it's in like lots of stuff <laughs> Because people said, like, that bonza pasta is healthier, which it is. It's chickpeas. But it has a lot of that Xanaf gum in it. So, who knows? Lots of, like, the healthier options are actually, like, worse for you. That's what I've heard. Don't quote me, because... <laughs> I obviously am not like super healthy, but it's about balance. It's all about balance and working out and eating like your calorie amount per day, which is like 2000 or so. I think like for my weight, that's what my brother tells me and he like knows all of that stuff like he works out a lot and like eats cal like counts his calories but like I know like the Starbucks syrups like they have like the low sugar or like the fat free whatever like the low fat one is and i heard those are actually worse because it's like fake sugar like you you might as well just get like the one it comes with i don't know some people might need the like the fake sugar one for like health reasons or something but because i think i got it in one of my videos maybe i learned from the comments like you guys told me. What is Spider-Man? <laughs> like, what is he? Is he just like a... A person in a costume? Maybe I have seen the movie, like, when I was younger. Because isn't he, like, a good-looking guy underneath the costume? Or maybe that's, like, Batman. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. Batman, Spider-Man, Aquaman. That's probably all I can name. Mmm. This is good ranch. So recently I've been doing lots of yoga. And I really love it. If you have not tried yoga before, I recommend it. The classes are not too long. It's very peaceful and just like, you feel sore after. Like my shoulders are always sore and like my arms are sore. <laughs> he said amen to me and thank you. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> and he like was bowing down. <laughs> mm. <laughs> why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh, yoga. So the studio I go to, it's $15 a class. And yeah, like I'll, like some of the positions they have you go in, 
like my legs will be like shaking and like you have to have your arms up like a lot of the time and like it makes my arms sore they also do pilates at the studio which i really want to try pilates so they have like for $70, you can get unlimited Pilates classes and yoga classes a month, which I, I think that's a really good deal. So $15 a class, as long as you go to like five, which yeah, I would want to go to like three a week. I could do yoga like a few times a week and then Pilates I would do a couple times a week too. I've never tried it, but I've always wanted to try it. And they also have a class there that, so the yoga is like a warm yoga. It's not super hot. And the class is like usually like 77 degrees, which is like perfect temperature. So it just feels like nice and warm and good. Let's your muscles like really stretch out and just relax. Like, oh, it feels so good. And you just feel like so stretched after and like loose. Like it reminds me of like dance class kind of cause like you'll like flow through into different positions and it kind of reminds me of dance. But they have a class there where you bring your crystals and they have like, you know that thing where you, it's like, I don't know what it's called they have like the bowl and they like move the thing around it it makes like that high pitched noise and you're just supposed to like meditate they do that there too I'm like I kind of want to try it I don't know if you just sit there it would be a little bit boring if you do just sit there but yeah you could bring your crystals like to the yoga class and stuff too they have crystals already there like you could take some of theirs very cool yoga is a vibe and the people are also nice like i feel like everyone there is so friendly and like talks to you this is a big burger i'm full I'll have another mozzarella stick but yeah I keep telling my mom she should try yoga I think she would like it it's a good stretch because like her body will sometimes like hurt and like and she definitely is like more sore and stuff ever since the accident like her neck will like click now and like she can't do certain things anymore so I feel like yoga would like maybe help just like stretch and like relieve any pain um and like because because i was like nervous when i was going for my first time because i'm like i don't know what i'm doing like why be nervous because like you're paying for the class like if you need to like step out you can and like just try your best do like kind of whatever you want to do it's not like the teacher is going to yell at you like the instructor is going to be like you're doing this wrong like point your toes it's not like a dance class or something where you get like lectured and and stuff like that you kind of just do your own thing at your own pace all of that so it's very just like chill and like easy so i like and then i was like why am i nervous i'm paying for the class like I think I was just like thinking about like dance because you know it'd be like point your toes or do this again like and it's like oh don't yell at me I wish there was a dance studio that takes people my age I want to do dance so bad again but no studios are for people my age like around me at all like, I'm sure they have it, like, everywhere in L.A. and, like, places like that, you know? Definitely. But, like, not here. Maybe Zumba. Yeah, true. Maybe I'd want to do something like that. Because if you do dance, 
at the end you have to like have a recital and like I wouldn't want to do that <laughs> yeah because you learn the dance and then you have the recital makes sense <laughs> mm. well that was very good this was very fun i waited all week for this since our mcdonald's why do i keep saying mcdonald's mcdonald's has clearly been on my mind since when i woke up this morning but i have been waiting for this whopper since monday so since our mcdonald's oh my gosh i said it <laughs> since our burger king was late to it for some reason but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you love Spider-Man or if you don't, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you're going to try out the Spider-Man Whopper. I forget what it's called. The Metaverse Whopper? I don't know. But I love you all so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.